Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, September 21st in 1779, Bernardo de Galvez, Spanish governor of Louisiana, opened fire on Fort Richmond, the British Hair Redoubt in Baton Rouge. Spain had officially entered the American Revolutionary War on May 8th of that year. On July 8th, King Charles III of Spain issued a declaration authorizing his colonial subjects to engage in hostilities against the British. Upon receiving word of this declaration, Galvez began his offensive operations to take British West Florida, and on August 27th, he set out by land toward Baton Rouge. His forces would eventually number almost 1,400 and included militiamen, free backs, mulattoes, American volunteers, Native Americans, and Acadians. After a brief skirmish with a token British force, Galvez and his followers took Fort Butte at Bayou Manchac and pressed on to Baton Rouge. On September 21st, the British endured three hours of shelling before the British commander Dixon offered to surrender. Included in the terms was the surrender of the 80 regular infantry stationed at Fort Panmure, the former French fort Rosalie and Natchez. The commander of Fort Panmure, Captain Forster, believed Dixon had turned over to Natchez Fort only to get better terms of surrender. Galvez's forces reached Natchez on October 5th and the 80 British soldiers meekly surrendered. Hi, my name is Spencer Adams. I am a senior at Trinity Episcopal School and this has been your Natchez History Minute.